Hello friend, welcome back. Here is a great news. Like we promised that we will add pretty much all pro version features in the free version of test case studio recorder plugin. So here we have added amazing features of pro version in the free version as well. Let me show you which all features those are and how they are going to help you guys. So uh, if you see that here in test case studio pro version, we were having the features like screen recording screen recording feature then customize option to set the recording terms in the uh, test cases record test cases in bdd format so all these three amazing features of pro version we have added in the free version as well now you will be able to record the screen with the free version you will be able to uh, record test cases also you will be able to record test cases in any language like let's say you want to record in uh, your local language french germany hindi kannada telugu tamil in any any sorts of language you want to record the test case in place of english that you can do like suppose you are doing the test uh, website testing in your local language then in that case you do also uh, you will be able to record test cases in bdd format as well in free version you will be able to set your own terminology like let's say by default it used to record like click on something now let's say you want to change that click at so that you will be able to customize the keywords as well let me show you how it will work so simply like this is already live with the version 1.7.1 onwards these features will be there you will see the record screen button here under customize like click to add and remove here you will see these customized option like change to bdd and here are the commands so now let me show you guys in the runtime let's say we want to test on any website you can open any like uh, let's say mintra flipkart or any e-commerce website or uh, like selectorsub.com itself so suppose we are on this website and we want to test it here and we want to record a screen the very first feature i will show the record screen so you just click here and this gives you the feature to record any chrome tab or any window you can select uh, let's say you want to select any window local window even desktop application as well you can do the recording of uh, screen recording for that or you can select entire screen so in place uh, when you select the entire screen so in that case you will be able to record every application whatever is you are you will be doing on your system so prefer to select this and now you will see that screen recording is happening here you see you will also see that test case studio is sharing your screen so now you whatever action you will be performing here that will be recording in your uh, screen so let's say you want to search for t-shirt you search here you click here anywhere you click every action will be recorded there and if you see that uh, steps of course like as usual will be getting recorded recorded xpar data css selector and screenshot with all the highlighted field will be there and here you will see that screen is being recorded at any point of time you can pause this and you can view also <coughs> like you, let's say you want to see that what has been recorded here so you can see that everything is being recorded here and then uh, if you want to let's say you want to download this if you want to continue you can again resume but if you don't want to continue you just want to now stop this and you want to download you can simply download this once it is downloaded you can always watch this uh, screen recording good thing is this that even you are doing the desktop application testing then in that case you can record your screen and then you can uh, share it with your de developer or uh, keep it as a record that what what was happening and what was the issue and if you are doing the uh, norm for normal purpose then you can also uh, like because many a times you uh, developer don't want to follow these steps or you don't want to share these steps you don't want to share the screenshot you just want to record each and everything what was happening in the uh, application when you were performing the action when you were doing the testing to reproduce the bug or anything in that case the recording like screen recording is very very helpful and time saver so that's where this feature will help you guys a lot so this is the screen recording and if you want to delete you can just simply delete it now let's say you see that here it is being recorded as like uh, the with these default english terms open website click on this enter this press enter but in place of this you want to change your uh, these terms like as per your standard you don't you don't say in your company like open website in place of this you used to write 
open URL. Click on, but you might be using the key, uh, keywords like click at this particular element. Enter into this element. So your terms could be different like press enter. We are saying press enter, but you might be saying uh, press enter key. So if you want to define those terms, you can do that now. So what you have to do, click on this customize button here and you will see that notice here. These are the terms. So by default, it is saying click on element. You can change this click on. So you can make it. Let's say we want to say click at and whatever is written inside double quote and in these parentheses, you uh, in these curly braces, you need not to change that. Just change these words which are written in English. OK, outside the double quotes. Let's say open website. We want to say open URL. OK, now let us go back and it will be automatically saved. Now here, let me uh, now we it till here it is click on and whatever were the default. Now let us change uh, do some clicks here and there. So you will notice that it will say click at whatever keywords we have changed. So this way now you can record the test cases with your own terms. Like if we delete all these steps from here. Now if we click here and there, so you will see that open URL, the first term which we changed that was open URL, then click at and this, this. So this is how you can change the terms, keywords as per your company standard. You want to make it camel case, small case, anything you want to do that you can do and it will be saved in your local like, like next time onwards when you will open test case studio. These all features were available in the pro version before. Now it is available here. So you will see that those terms is saved here. It is not being to not going to be changed. Like you need not to change every time, right? And at any point of time, you feel that you want to go back to the default one. You just click on these reset button and it will be, it will be coming back to the default one. So just click on these reset button. It will reset to the default one. Okay. So this is how you can uh, define the terms. Now, what if you want to record in any local language? So in that case, you can also do that. Like, let's say for an example, I must be having some website here. Uh, you have any website in, uh, in any local language. In that case, you want to record the test cases in local language, right? So here, this is the website. Let's say this is right now in English, but I want to test this website in the local language, in my language, Hindi language, I want to uh, test. So now if I open this test case studio and we click here like this. We are performing any action or doing anything in this website. So you will see that click on and then that keyword is in that particular language on which we are testing our website. But we want that complete thing should be in that in that particular language like here. This is Hindi language. So we want this complete sentence should be in Hindi language. It should not shouldn't be like English like half part is in English half part is in uh, Hindi. We want the complete sentence in one language. So yes, you can do that this now. So just go here and whatever is the term like here it is click on and you want in your local language. So what you do copy this and you can like by default if you can convert this into your local language here in the, through keyboard that you can do or you just copy this go to Google and use the Google Translator. In uh, pro version, you can do right away from the test case studio itself, but here you need to do in uh, through this. So let just copy this and paste it here. Like let's say open website. This we want to change. <coughs> it's a just one time effort, not every time. So you can do this and like this. Let's say we just we have changed these two keywords. Now let's go back and we'll delete this test case whatever we have recorded and now if you go here and you do anything sorry not right click because right click command we haven't changed so you will notice that everything whichever was like in Hindi and we changed these two commands like open website and the click on this something so now it is recording in that particular language in your local language so this way you can record the test cases in your local language as well in the free version and when uh, always put the space between so it will be like better way <laughs> whenever you want to go back to the default you can always reset here <clears throat> in the pro version we have provided the translator button here so you just have to select the language from the drop down, drop down and all the keywords it will 
automatically get changed so this is how now you will be able to record the test cases in your local language or in any language so uh, what we have seen that screen recording record in any language and customize recording keywords that we have seen like you can change the keywords the next thing is bdd format support so this we had in the pro version now we have added this feature in uh, free version as well so let's go back here and come back to the default english language so now you see this by default it is recording the test cases uh, let us delete this <coughs> come back here and in let's say we go here and you will notice that right now it is uh, recording in english language like uh, normal whatever we are performing open website click on this click on this and this and this but we want to record in kind of like bdd format support so this you go here and just click on this change to bdd format and you see that all the keywords has been redefined all the sentences has been redefined and now if you go back and record let's delete this whatever settings i am showing you guys that is just one time it you will not have to do it again and again it is just one time effort whenever you are setting so you see that now it is saying when the user opens website then click on this then the user click on this then user perform this action and at last like in bdg format like you if you use some different keywords that of course you can define and at last you want to say something what it should be the end result that you can add click on add plus button here and you can add that sentence the last one so this is how you can convert the uh, recording of these test test cases in bdd format as well now if you close this and open website and you perform some action you do something here everything will be recorded in the uh, <coughs> like you search something in the bdd format so this is how you can record the test case now in bdd format as well and whenever you want to download you can simply click on this test case download test case it will download the test case you can also save the test case name like here before downloading you can save the test case name and click on download so test case is being downloaded and uh, yeah so record screen test case download execute steps in plain english you can also just if you want to uh, execute them then you can click on this and it will execute in uh, test trigger so that is all those features like standard features is always there so now we have added this record screen customize command record in any format record in any language you can also like let's say you have changed it to the uh, bdd format but now you want to come back to the default one click on this and now it is by default default one go back you can delete or like let's say you want to uh, start fresh recording so you just click on them and then again you will be it will be recording in the default format so these are some of the amazing features we have added in test case studio free version which will help you guys to save a lot of time and i'm sure like you guys will love these features i hope you are enjoying and saving these uh, amazing time with the help of this uh, free recorder plugin do let us know your feedback in the comment section and share it with your team and uh, in your QA network about this amazing uh, free tool recorder plugin which is helping a lot testers to uh, save their time to get the bugs uh, to get these steps to reproduce the bug a screenshot to file the bug and now you have the screen recording step customization and the bdd format support language support different language support and lot more things and this version is very very stable one so please upgrade and use this do give demo in your uh, company let your management team know about these amazing features and yes in record uh, in the pro version we have a lot more advanced feature like uh, uh, one more thing one limit thing is there in like record screen that it will be able to record uh, maximum 5 minute thing so yes that will be there in the pro version you will be having unlimited and lot more features like just quickly i will show you in uh, pro version you have like you can uh, record multiple test cases your previous test case will always be there you can resume uh, steps recording at any point of time wherever you have left like last time here and then uh, <clears throat> uh, a screenshot selection is there like you want to uh, record a particular you want to download just few of the screenshot that will be there and lot more features are there like directly you can upload it to uh, test rail and then this was the feature here you need not to translate by uh, going to google here just you select the language and it will be able to translate these sentences into that particular local language and you which you want to 
record and then there is a customize column option you can add column you can rename column so lot more features are there in pro version you can download in very uh, in different formats as well so yes that is there in the pro version of course so i hope you guys will enjoy this free version new features do uh, check out this also you can check out the more features what is there in the premium and all and yeah with that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you